Well, hi friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to another Monday Megs video on my YouTube channel and blog. For today's project, I am featuring the Birthday Sparkle Kit. It comes with the Early Espresso ink pad and instructions and components for six cards, six envelopes and six tags and you actually get a stamp set plus the ink pad. So I'm using my own ink pad and I sped this up, uh, sort of time-lapsed it on my camera so that you can see me speeding through this. This is card number one. It was pretty easy to put together. I liked the fact that they had decorations for the balloons. Uh, or the crumb cakey balloons. And I got a lot of leftover stuff after completing this. So you, you got a few extra balloons, a little extra cupcakes. You got a few extra sticks and candles and all of that. Um, what I did here, you can see, I stamped the sentiment uh, it's your birthday on all three. So I'm making them pretty much the same. I did uh, reduce the bow tying uh, segment of this video. I just edited it out. You don't have to thank me. I got your back. Um, I've noticed here too that um, my card design here is a little low um, as opposed to the example. I'm not really paying attention to the instructions, which kind of sucks because I'm kind of ruining it for myself. So I had to um, yoink the, the balloon, the white balloon, up a little bit. Uh, I did that on all three cards. And then there's this sparkle, I guess it's a tassel. So the lovely thing was I didn't have to restamp the stem because, or the, the balloon line, because the tassel took care of excuse me, hiccup, the, ta the tassel took care of it. All right, so this is card number two, and this one has sort of a birthday cake. And for whatever reason, um, I, and I inked up using the, what is it, the early espresso ink. I really liked the look of this card. And then for whatever reason, I didn't understand that uh, the golden things were uh, flames and I put them opposite like a teardrop because I'm an idiot but then I'm like oh no that's not where how it goes so here we go I, I'm changing it around because you know really I should look at the pictures and that's the thing you don't have to speak English French German uh, Korean Japanese you can look at these instructions and they're simple they don't have any words on them they're like this is like Ikea simple instructions they're telling you how to do this and honestly, you guys, this little kit, so cute. Uh, it's the sentiment says happy cake day, which I love uh, because uh, calories don't count on your birthday. So love that. <laughs> um, but I just think it's really nice to have some birthday car cake cards with cakes, with balloons, with happy, smiley, you know, sentiments in your stash for those impromptu, oh, hey, uh, it's so-and-so's birthday at the office. You know, like this is a great thing to store in your desk at the office so that you can quickly make one up or to gift some something to someone. Now, these two next examples, the cupcake, which I did completely wrong, so watch me fix my mistake, and the tag afterwards, uh, we, I ended up making them and then I turned them into cards. So make sure you stay to the end to watch the stills or to look at the pictures that I have. So this is my mistake. I'm putting adhesive all along my cupcake because I think that that's how they are supposed to be adhered. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, they are not. <laughs> You're supposed to put dimensional adhesives on the cupcake icing. Uh, so I ended up having, and because there's this little stick, it's kind of like a toothpick and it goes in underneath. And I'm like, well, how is that possible? So I had to look at the instructions, goodness me, and uh, peel the icing and the wrapper up and then adhere the, poke the stick into the icing. And then I put dimensional adhesive along the backside and also um, on the cupcake wrapper too. So 
um, don't do like I do and, you know, make yourself uh, do it right. Do it right first so you don't have to do it a second time. Isn't that the truth? Oh my gosh, read the instructions. And then if you want to, go ahead and do what you want. Like these cupcakes, I did turn into cards and they're just simple cards. I use crumb cake, cardstock, and um, yeah, you can see the pictures at the end. It's really simple. But I didn't need tags. Um, I often, uh, I have, uh, you know, I use the card as the tag, I guess, for birthday gifts and such. So I didn't necessarily need a tag so much, but I love the idea of having some handy dandy cards. I have um, a, a great team uh, of Stampin' Up! demonstrators that I like to send uh, cards and gifts to. And, um, and I have obviously my friends and family that have birthdays. So I actually, um, my top cards that I give away are thank you and um, happy birthday. So here we are. Um, again, I removed the bow tying situation. <laughs> uh, and then here we go with the fourth and final card. Uh, this is card number four. Here I'm stamping the it's your birthday sentiment with the little stampin spot that you got. It is early espresso, by the way. And then I put the little, oh, and you get like little adhesive dots, those uh, mini glue dots there. So those go behind the candles. And of course, you get dimensional adhesive. You get a lot of stuff for this. I think it's 32 bucks, this kit. And you get the stamp set, which you can use over and over and over again. You can, yeah, like it's a nice stamp set. It's got nice wishes on it. Um, yeah, so here I'm bringing out the candles with the proper flames going the right way. <laughs> and then you just adhere the, um, the ribbon or the twine to it. And there's your, there's your inspiration for today. It's a quick one. Um, thank goodness I sped that up because it did took, take me a, about an hour to complete and this video is less than seven minutes at the point. But anyway, I'm going to leave the link in the description box below so that you can get this kit if you want it. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.